Hi, welcome to Believe the Bible. This is number four in a quick series of crazy things the Apostle Paul said. So let's get into it. 1 Corinthians 3, 13 through 15. Every man's work shall be made manifest, for the day shall declare it, because it shall be revealed by fire, and the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is, the motive of what it is. If any man's work abide which he hath built thereupon, he shall receive a reward. Now watch this, verse 15. If any man's work shall be burned, he shall suffer loss, but he himself shall be saved, yet so as by fire. Crazy thing Paul said. Paul said that the works won't be judged, and if they do, burn up, then that person will still be saved. You can't say that in the Old Testament. Works were required as a requirement of your faith. If you had faith in God, you did works. You kept the law. You were obedient in that way. Under grace, we don't lose our salvation. We lose our rewards for doing things in the wrong motive, for the wrong reason. Next verse. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor infeminine, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. Verse 10, nor thieves, nor covetous, or drunkards, or revilers, or extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. Verse 11, and such were some of you but ye are washed, but ye are sanctified, but ye are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ by the Spirit of God. When the Spirit of God baptizes you, not with water, but it identifies you and puts you into the body of Christ, you are washed, you are justified, you are sanctified. And all the things of this list that you had done are no longer attributes of you because now you are made the righteousness of Christ by what Christ did for us. And so people get confused and look at these verses and say, yes, but look at all these things that I, you know, I still do some of these things, you know, covet, you know, people covet, even believers that love the Lord and read their Bible and do all the things that are good to do, that still have covetousness and and they'll do some of these things. And yet, they'll think that maybe if they do them, they'll lose their salvation. They'll lose any place in heaven. And that's not the case. Because once we are saved, God promises salvation forever. He gives us eternal life, which cannot come to an end. So yes, these things might seem crazy to, to some people, especially if you're living out of the Old Testament, living out of the law, living out of the four gospel books, these would be considered strange things, but they're not. Paul had new doctrine given to him by revelation, visions, and it was dispersed to him by Jesus Christ himself after the resurrection. It was Christ's heavenly ministry that we want to pertain mostly to that pertains to us although we want to look at all of the ministries of Christ from Genesis to Revelation, because there are multiple ministries of Christ as the Creator, as the Savior, as the Judge, and uh, the Head of the Body. And there's multiple uh, attributes or characteristics, I should say, of Jesus Christ throughout the Scriptures. So thanks for your time. Hope this has been a help. You have a great day.